So who is number one this year? We learned in 2021 who is first for cybercrime and cybersecurity. Now, with all of these rankings, it all depends on who is doing the counting and how. But here's what we found, starting with one of the most popular cybercrimes in the world, phishing. Turning back to the spring of 2020, reports showed coffins filling Madrid's skating rink. With hundreds of people dying each day and services overloaded, the Palacio de Hielo offered its ice as a makeshift morgue. Now in 2021, the coffins are gone, the rink is sanitized and ready for skaters. But there is fallout from COVID around the world, but especially here in Spain, on phones and computer screens. Now Spain earns the number one spot as top target for malicious mailings like phishing in the world, according to cybersecurity company Comparatech. Not just any phishing, but often COVID-related, we learn from another company, McAfee. Spain was at one point an epicenter for COVID, but there could be more to this if the numbers are correct, says the head of a cybersecurity organization in Madrid. Sí, es verdad que en España tenemos fama. It is true, he says, that in Spain we're known for solidarity, for helping out during difficult times. Grandes. Attackers may see this as a weakness and try to take advantage. Claro, una persona que... Of course, a person who likes to help, who is generous, he says, can fall into traps more easily because they're more trusting. Who is number one in the world for infected phones? The answer? Iran, with almost a third of all phones infected with malware. Who has the most crypto mining attacks? Tajikistan, where electricity rates are low and crooks feel free to put malware on phones and computers to mine for cryptocurrency. Who is number one for worst cybersecurity? Number three is China. Number two, Bangladesh. And number one worst, once again, Tajikistan also racking up numbers for attackers tricking people out of bank account numbers and passwords. So who then is number one for best cybersecurity? Third best is Ireland, second best, Sweden, and first is Denmark, with low rates of malware on people's computers. In Denmark, there's a lot of focus on cybersecurity. Why so little malware? I asked Soren Magard, head of a Danish cybersecurity agency. One of the things is that um, in, in Denmark, uh, piracy of software is, is almost non-existent. And how does that correlate to malware? Well, it means that all the systems get updates, um, patches, and so on. Uh, it also means that most systems are relatively modern and up-to-date. Who's the number one target in the world for ransomware? The United States is the most hit with this kind of malware that can hold files and systems hostage for money. People had trouble getting gas in part of the U.S. this year and paid more for meat after ransomware attacks on essential services like gas and food. So which country is number one for launching cyber attacks? It is Russia, a number one source of nation state attacks, according to Microsoft. However, Russia says no, the U.S. is one of the top cyber attackers in the world. Which country uses facial recognition the most? This survey says it's China, where the government uses it to shame people for things like going outside in your pajamas. Some estimate 600 million facial recognition cameras in use in China by the end of 2021. Finally, what about the overall digital quality of life? The number one worst is Ethiopia, with low-ranking internet quality internet infrastructure, and electronic security. And number one, digital quality of life, once again, it's Denmark, which ranks at or near the top of several other cyber lists as well. We are one of the most digitized nations in the world. Uh, every interaction you have with the government, everything is digitized. We're so used to it now in Denmark. It's, it's, it's strange when, when, when I travel to realize that your know, pen and paper is actually still a thing. Wrapping up now, who sends out the most spam? It is Russia, according to cybersecurity company Kaspersky. But which country is the number one safe haven for spammers? It is the U.S., according to Spam House, which says the U.S. does not do enough to stop spammers from operating within its borders. And now we are signing off 
from Mexico, which is one of the top 10 targets for spam and malicious mailings. Remember, Spain is number one. I'm Carrie Tomlinson for Ampere News.